Hello and welcome to another Nico Media Tutorial. So, uh, I got a question if I can show how we can do something like this here. This is from Mark Malta. You will find the link in the description. And yeah, the question was how if we can do this just with uh, notes or with, capsule, with capsules. And yeah, this is possible and uh, I want to show you how. Good. So uh, let's start. What do we do here? Yeah. It's not a lot to say. What do we have here? We have here, uh, I think this is a six sided thing. Yeah, okay. Good. Let's make. Uh, I will start here with a sweep. Because when I, I could do this with a cylinder here, and pick a cylinder from the X and give it six sides. But the problem here is, uh, I don't need any caps here. I can change the height segments here, but I cannot change the side segments so that I can have here uh, some segments. So you see, this isn't possible here. So I make this simply with a sweep. So I make, uh, I have here a line, this is just a, a straight helix. I make it with the helix, so you see what I did. So I simple helix here, and I bring it along to here, got the x-axis, and I make a straight line. So I set this to zero, 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 and I have here a straight line with 200 centimeter. Let's make it 500. And I don't need as many subdivisions for now. Let's give it 20 and here uniform zero. And now let's make a sweep. So I need a profile spline. So I need to take you the inside. So you have here the six sides. Make it 50, I would say. And now we bring the inside in a sweep. So I select my inside. Hold my Alt key and click on sweep, so the sweep will be automatically uh, uh, parent to the spline. This is exactly what I want. And the path I bring in here, so we have this now. Here we go down to 40. And uh, I don't need any sets. So here we have the same now. I can simply take my Helix in, so I say I want one subdivision, so I have the height segments. But the good thing here is, when I want the segments for the side, I go to my end side here and go here to uniform. And now I can make here nice quotes here. So maybe make it a little more, but it, it looks quite nice for the tutorial, it should be fine. Make it a little smaller, I guess. Let's see, 80, and here, let's see. Just eyeball it so that it's just something like what's Okay, fine. Now, the next step is we play with capsules. First of all, I want this in the middle on my, of my scene, so I know the helix spline here is uh, 500 centimeter long. So I go in the x axis to minus 250, so I have it in the middle here. The next step is we put this sweep in a null object. So I select my sweep with Alt G, I bring it in the null object. And now under the null object, I bring in my capsules. So when they are in the same hierarchy as the sweep, they will work, probably. <laughs> so, let's go to our nodes here in the asset browser. And the first of all is I want a, a random selection, but uh, not really very random. I want a noise selection. So I go to my selection here. And we have here the noise selection. We could use the random selection as well, but I prefer the noise. So, and I drag it simply under my null here. Okay, now I don't see anything. I don't see the selection here. But 
let's make a material a simple one. Shift F2, I go to the material manager. And I bring in here a simple standard material. I will later on render this with uh, with Octane, but I will provide a, a physical render version of this as well. But it, it, it's it's not really hard to, to uh, texture this whole thing here. So I make a simple material. You can double click in the Ob object manager and make your own material. But I have here, uh, I have here uh, prepared some standard material here and for Octane the same. So I go inside. Let's make red, okay. And to to have uh, the noise selection, to can use the noise selection. I need first to store this selection here. So here you see in the selection capsules, I have the store selection. Bring it in and I have to name it. Name this, this is, should be the emission here. Emission. And enter and you see now I have a uh, selection tag here. Now I can put my material on the sweep. And in the material tag I have a selection. And here I drag in my emission selection. And you see, we have here the selection. So now we can play with the noise. We can make the noise smaller. Uh, something like that. But I want here a different noise. We have here a cell noise. It makes already so nice uh, rectangles and so on. Make this smaller. So, something like that. So and now we have to find a, a nice uh, thing. What do you want? A nice distribution here. Okay, that could look quite nice here. Yeah, you can play later on how <laughs> much you want with this. You can of course use the seed as well. Mm, that looks not bad here. Okay, now I know this is my selection here. Okay, nice. And I want to extrude this selection. So I have my noise selection and after my noise selection I want an extrude. So I go to my modifier here and we have then here the extrude. Bring it after the noise selection. And you get that looks not really nice. I need a two here, so five for now. And I want that they are connected here, so I have to use islands. And it looks quite nice. But sometimes you get a little problem here. Like, ah, here we have it. You see, that looks not really nice here. And this we want to avoid. In this case, it wouldn't be a big problem because see it from above maybe. But we don't want this. And we can avoid this if when we simply go to our... We need a little rounding on the edges here. So on these edges we need a little rounding. <coughs> Sorry. And this we can do with our profile spline here. You see we have here rounding. This is maybe a little too round. <laughs> but we can say here with the rounding, let's pick it to 0.5 or so. And if we do so, see we have still this problem. The problem is because we don't still we still have no let's make this a little bigger, maybe you see it. Yeah, we have no subdivisions on the on the on the rounding. So what we do for this is we instead of uniform, we use here subdivided. And when we use subdivided, see we get the subdivisions, and then we get a nice. You see, this is now almost. Uh, you don't see it really. So this is. If it's still not good enough for you, we can could make this. 
angle a little smaller and then I get it like this. But in my case, still 20 is enough, you see. Because we wanna use this later in the subdivision surface. And then you wanna see it a little. But okay, maybe it's a little too much. Five. Five is okay here for me. Okay. That's nice so far. Good. Now this red material should be our emission later. So this is this this part here but uh changes color and so on. And so I don't want this as high, so I'll go to my extrude here. Two and I need it on the sides as well, this this uh this selection, this emission here. So what I do here is, before I store my selection, I want to grow my selection uh, one uh, polygon, so to the sides. Good, so I go to my extrude here, and after the extrude I want the grow selection, back to the selection, and grow selection. Now I see that is what I want. But the next problem is if we put this laid down in a subdivision surface, this won't look really nice here. So this is even if we make here then a, a bevel or a chamfer. This but I, we can do this later, so I'm gonna make this for now so. But now I want another extrude here. So which covers our emission thing, thing here. So after this, we have this store selection here. But the selection is now here the red and here the red. So when I simply copy this extrude here, I hold my control and copy the extrude down to here. You see, of course, it extrudes on all selections. So the sides as well, but I don't want to decide the sides. I want the extrude just upwards. And so we, what we can do this when we go to, after our store selection, this is our emission here. And uh, for this, after this I make again a shrink selection. I grow it here and here I will shrink it. So I make a shrink selection after here. And now you see it goes to the inside. This is exactly what I want. Only what I don't want is the red here on top. And maybe I want this only one, so. And to get rid of the we need a, of the red of the top here, we need a second material. And we need again a store selection. So we have here the store selection emission. Then I make another store selection here, which will be the base color. Okay, now we have here selection deck. And here in the base color, I make an, another material. Well, okay, and then let's take the white material and I put it on the sweep. See, now everything is white, so, but I put it before the red one. And I simply copy this uh, texture deck here, control on the keyboard, drag it to the side and copy it over. And here, I bring the new selection tag here. This is the base color. So I drag it in here. And now I see I have only the emission in between everywhere. And every other thing is the base color. This is exactly what I want. But still, when I put this in a subdivision surface, that, that looks not really nice because it goes over here. So we could try now to use here a um, bevel or a jumper. Let's try this. So after the store selection, I can simply try to go to the modifier and use a jumper. The jumper is set here to points. I need it at edges. And of course, not so big. Okay. Nice. At the first glance, it looks nice. Yeah, 
when I put it now in a subdivision surface. Looks good, but you see on the edges here, we don't have a continuous emission here with this one. So we could do this when we put in instead of the uh, jumper, uh, uh, we need a solid. Let's hide this for now. Got a solid. But here with the solid, you see, we get some problems here. And we put this on. This this does not help us. So what we can do here is before we make this extrude, we make a small little extrude before the emission here. So let's take here another extrude, put it in here, in between. And this is just a point two or so. And of course use islands. Now we have a little extrusion here. And if we make now a subdivision surface, you see we don't even need our jumper. This jumper is not on. It but it looks not nice. This is because uh, we have here such a long side and then a very short side. And this is for the subdivision surface. It looks not really nice. Because we can go with the subdivision surface up here. That makes it nicer. And that looks not bad here at all. So the NA looks almost like the original one here. This is very smooth, everything you see. And we have here this smooth one. But maybe we want it here a little sharp on the edges so that it looks more sci fi ish. Let's see. <laughs> okay, I go to this is the extrude. Let's see, this is the favorite extrude. So this is more extrude here is 0.1. Makes it even smaller, you see. Okay. And to make this now a little rounder, so we can go with this jumper and uh, don't need it really. But I, I let it in, it doesn't matter, it's, it's deactivated. So. And what I want here is now, I'll show the edges. I want to make a subdivision here, but not a smooth subdivision. Could we could do this after the here as well? Yeah, let's make it, it with with capsules. We have the modify here, and we have a subdivide here. So bring the subdivide and my jump for here. Oh, above my jump, I delete the jump for him. Subdivide, and you have seen when I put it, we get here subdivisions, but only. On this selected, we have here store selection. This is just a top selection here. So, of course, now the subdivision works only on this top selection here. This is not what I want. But this is because it's set to default here. And this uses the, the uh, selection what it has before. When we go here to all, now you see we get everywhere selections. So, and, and then now it subdivides everywhere. And when I make now the subdivision surface, an A, now I get a sharper edge. So let's deactivate this. You see? And you can make even here, go not too smooth, of course. We don't make even more and more. You see, I get it sharper. Here we get then a little problem. This is, this is because, uh, and A, and B. Uh, no, it, it is not really round, and then here when we make it so high. But maybe we can get rid of this somehow. First of all, I could uh, delete this, but this, is it not? 
maybe we don't need as much activities here. That makes it a little better, but or less. This is not what I like. This is really not what I like. I don't want to see this. See what we can do here. With one subdivision, I see, I think. In A, and can let's go to the subdivided. There is one that looks okay, yeah, but this is this is okay here. We got sharp. I don't need this. Yeah, this is exactly the same. Okay, now we have a wonderful thing here, but the problems are not over. <laughs> of course now let's say we want to animate this let's deactivate the subdivisions for now so it, it works a little faster and let's save this how is this called this is a danger noodle oh, no the danger noodle is the magma alter <laughs> it's a great name uh, this has no name really so mm. Sci-fi sweep over there, so let's save it. Go to my temp folder here. Uh, Sci-fi. Sci-fi sweep. Okay. And now I want to animate this. Go to my helix here, and under the helix, I simply put in a displacer. So let's bring in a displacer. Work. In the deformer, we have the display. I selected my helix, and we shift click on the displacer. The displacer becomes a child. This is exactly what we need. And the shading will be, of course, a noise. That looks not really nice. Let's go to object here and make this very big. So 1500. Yeah, that should be fine. And the displacer itself, 50 centimeter. And now you will see we have a little problem here. When we hit play here, so I want to animate this here. So make it 0.5 and 8. You see the noise moves around. And this is definitely not what we want. So what can we do here? The only thing what to, uh, to avoid this is uh, to make this whole thing editable. Which is no problem. When I say, when I think, okay, this is exactly what I want now. Uh, maybe I want the, the we have here the extrude barrel. This is the extrude emission. So make this a little higher, and maybe the last extrude here. Make it do this is the cap here, something like that. And then I think, okay, this is what I want. I can now disable the displacer, uh, bring in the subdivide here, but we don't even need the subdivide. We can subdivide with our subdivision surface as well. Yeah, so I disable the subdivide here, go to my null and Bring the null in the connect object. So connect object you will find in here 
I have it out here because I need it so often. But so I hold my Alt key, then I select it, Alt key, connect. And I don't need to weld, so or in this case it doesn't matter, we can can weld as well, but we don't need to weld. In, no, in the, most of the cases I don't weld, and I want this as, as my default, I don't weld. So when I want it as default, I go to Edit, Set as Default Preset. Okay, now when I, you know, I use it as net the next time, the weld will be, will be on, off, not on. So, anyway, so connect, right click current state to object. Whoops, and I have it in my null here, so I can disable this here, so bye bye. And in the connect, we have our sweep now. And you see, we have a lot of unnecessary text here. We need only the last five here, so we have here our base color, our emission color, and our three materials. So this one material with, with the selection tag, the emission and the base. So we can delete all the other selection tags here. We could delete the UV tag as well, but uh, because we won't use it. And here, so now we have only the phone tag, the UV tag and our tags. Good. This is this now. So that I can now still to say um, I make this in B when I want to make this uh, subdivide which I have here without smoothing. We can make this as well here. We have a subdivision surface that smooths it out. Maybe you like it like this, so that then it's fine. And it, so it looks not bad. So but when you have these guys here, so simply go one up. And then here, so let well, go to here to the sweep here. Yeah, you see, we are in hand 180. This is what here and phone break. Now you see this that works. And here we can go to three, and then we get a nice smooth thing. But if you want one subdivision before, so we can do here something. We can go instead of. Catmull Clark here. We can use and pick a subdivision surface here, another one. Uh, I can go to disable it and bring it here in between. So that you can see this, this is a normal one. And when I go to open subdiv by linear, I get the subdivisions. See, this is only subdivided, and when I want to subdivide it once, it's fine. So I have one subdivision not smoothed, and now I can activate the smooth one, and now I get the same like with the subdivision with the subdivide, like I have here. And you see, when, when I go to this one and Let's just aim it, it will be a little smoother, it will be a little sharper. And this is what I like, this is, looks nice. What we have here still. This is one thing I... Yeah, this, this shading here, this is not really what I like. But you want... Yeah, this is... It makes no difference here. It looks like nice like this too, but uh, would be nice a little sharper. Yeah, now it's okay. Yeah. yeah, we will see it later, but now we have this, okay. So let's deactivate it, and yeah, we want to animate this, of course. And to do so, 
<coughs> sorry. But to do so, we give our sweep here a deformer and we need the spline wrap here. So I selected my sweep, hold my shift key, the spline wrap becomes a child. It is in the correct position, you see it on the arrow, wings, okay, that's nice. And in this spine, I simply use my uh, displaced helix here. So I drag the helix inside here and activate it, of course. And now you see our sweep should do exactly the same, but now the noise, of course, does not move. But it will flip over sometimes, I think. Let's see if it does. No, it's uh, now we have seen a little flip over at 100. This is something I don't make this a little faster. The noise here, so maybe then, so. it looks fine, but then we get sometimes a duck flip. And this is, of course, something we don't want. So what we need, we have here in our, let's hide the spline, no, the, the spline wrap here. Uh, in the spline wrap, we have the opportunity to put in a rail spline. And this is what we need. And to get a rail spline that does exactly the same like this spline, is quite simple. We make an instance of this spline here. So, we'll select our spline, go to here, instance, and we have a helix. And this will be now our rail for this spline here, uh, for this for this spline wrap. So, put it in, and we get this. Blah. But, let's go to our helix and simply drag it up a little bit. So, so I drag it up to about 20 centimeters, so, so. fine. And now we do the same again. We play it. And we shouldn't get any hiccups and so on. Let's play it through. See, that looks very promising. But at the end, I think we have one. Oh, okay. You can. It needs a little bit to come down, and see when 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 I drag it as also okay. But you can get some quite funny things as well when you would put this uh, rail spline a little down. The bit thinner, sir. You get different movements. You see it. It it moves totally different. And it looks maybe even nice. <laughs> this is fun. Put it again up to fifty. I'll put it up to fifty-five. Let's see what that does. That's okay, but when I put it back to zero here, here, yeah, you see now, now it's in the middle, but now it goes down. You can try different things when we, let's see, I put it down, I put it to the side, so what if I put it, sir? Uh, no, this is not so. This minus two fifty. That looks crazy, but when I put it just a little up, so one and a half centimeter or something else, you see it moves totally different. Oh, nice. <laughs> But I said that to 20 centimeter here, so oh, 20. 
good. Maybe I have to stop it before I change it here. So this is. And we, we still we can still now uh, change here the size of the noise maybe. Yeah. And everything will work. Okay. So far so good. And now let's see if we can make a nice render out of this. Okay, this is good. No. Like that. Maybe bring another camera inside. Things inside here. Let's save it here. But let's see if I need my. I think I do it without the subdivide here. Yeah. It looks quite nice. Okay. So, uh, yeah, now we have to make here materials. We need a metal material and an emissive material. So, I, as I said, I will do this with octane. So, I make an octane here. Go to octane and make an octane material instead. So, and delete this. I, I, I keep the tags because I so I can just drag it on my tags and I have the selections inside and everything. So I need two materials this is a base and one emission yeah. base emission yeah. for the base color I make some Metal material, or I have some. In my, maybe I can use uh, what's going on here. Ah, it crashed. That was something. That was an octane crash. Yeah. Okay, I'm back in a second. So I'm back. Let's see if we can now do something. So let's go to my textures octane metal and let's see what we have here. And this is gold metal. This is a little smaller. So. Let's see what's and something darker. Delete maybe. Delete him. And sometimes with the new materials you have to see if uh, all the, the image textures are inside. But okay, this this is fine. In the last tutorial, I can showed what you can do when you when you make when you have my material pack and it does not have the. Uh, textures inside the pictures it, it simply go down here and you have all the pictures here and then they are named as the materials itself so it's easy to find them and just drag it then inside sometimes it, I mean I uh, when I store them in the asset browser they don't does not really uh, add it do it not right I don't know why so this lead I want in the base here so I simply drag it over So a shortcut, sorry. And yeah, okay, so let's see what we get here. Uh, and I, of course I'm, I need my, so it will look a little boring, I think. Yep, this is what we get now. And let's bring in my Octane Rig. 
and I don't need here any floor. Let's make it a nice dark background here. And yeah, you see, we should see some uh, pattern on this, but we don't see anything. This is because uh, the UV mapping does not uh, fit here, so this is not a nice UV mapping. We could try to make the UV map this, but uh, I, we don't need really. So I mean, let's disable the displacer for now so that we get a straight thing. When I put this to cubic, now we get this nice color here. Uh, this nice pattern here. I don't really this it. I really like it. And uh, but you will see when we go to the displacer here and we play it. Do we see it here? Let's try it and we play this. You see our so our object moves, but the texture does not move with it. So this is a big problem, which we don't want, of course. So, and we try to fix this when we go to our sweep and go to material and see pin material. And now let's play it. And you see, the material sticks on our object. And this is exactly what it should do. Perfect. And the same material we want on our base here, so on the, on the top here. Uh, I'm not, ah, here we have to go to a cubic as well. So. That works fine. And now we need an emission material. So we don't need the base here. So save this. And the, the emission material we need just a little emission, but we want in the emission, we want a black body emission, of course. Then we want a texture, we want a noise. Uh, and I don't want the OSL noise because this does not animate. I don't, maybe it animates now in the, in the newer versions. We can try it later, but normally I go to my settings here in the C4D shaders and disable use OSL. So, and here, of course, I go 1000, 2000 would do it as well. Of course, it, I, I have to set new up my new my whole machine because I updated my my gear here. So, I've not I gone to a uh, certain 900k Intel 9 and uh, DDR5 RAM and, and a new motherboard, of course, and 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 so everything is new in the moment, so <laughs> it's not everything fixed here. So that's okay. So far, so good. I don't want direct lighting. I have here my presence bar tracing low, which is good. So that should. Do it and let's see. Just I want static noise and let's save this. Uh, place selected reset. Okay. And I want here a colorizer to colorize our our light. So we have the preset and the very full colors. Make this maybe object and a little bigger. We see it later then. And put this on our emission. See what we get here. Let's 
be a bit a little too missive. It looks nice, but let's go here. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's see. I want to see some. Some different colors here. So. And let's try to make this. Okay. Now we can make it a bit bigger, yes. Yeah, now we're talking. It looks nice. Okay. And maybe not so bright. Yeah, that looks nice. And you want first save it, don't forget to save. Five eight eight the loop period eight is because I have here two hundred frames per second with uh, uh, two hundred frames and the twenty-five frames per second and the two hundred frames then is eight seconds and this is the eight seconds loop period. So I'm not sure if this moves then so the, okay, if the light moves. Yeah, look at the green one here. The, the, the green now is yellow. Yes, yes, yes. It does, was, does something. Yellow and still yellow. Huh? Not sure if this we have here nice. Let's stop this. Does not really look like it would. I go to. Well, that maybe here. But it should work normally. So. One. There will render just some frames, then can we can be sure. But I want a different HDRI here. Save. So the HDRIs, where do I have them? I think they are still they are under, 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 under categorized Because, as I said, I have not really set up everything at the moment. And and I miss my beloved labor HDRI, but it becomes so. This is a nice one. Maybe a different one. But if we add some sun here, 
Oh, that looks nice. The sun makes it nice. Yeah, we'll leave it like that. Maybe go to the background here. Yeah. And to be crazy, give it a little bloom. Camera tech, post processing. Okay, save this and I will render some frames and then I'm back. So see you in a second. So let's see what we get here. So, okay, see something. The light is moving definitely, but the animations of the noise is too small and too too quick, as too fast. And the bump on my lead is a little too much, I think. So let's change something here. First of all, what I said, the movement is too far. Yeah, of course, so let's go point two or something else and make it even bigger. Well, stay with 2000, not 200, 2000. And Make it here less, less. So, uh, there, you know, it is needs a little bit until. Okay. Let's see here now. Ah, this may be a little too slow. Point five. Okay. Yes. See if it's so I go to my lead and as I set the bump or displacement or whatever I have here. Normal map is a little too high, so okay, maybe 0.5. Okay. And I will try to render this with the. Uh, uh, let's go to here. Camera imager and try it with the noise here. No, not volumes here, the noise. And render just this frame. Okay. Don't see a lot of difference between oh, here I see it. Okay. Go up with the point eight maybe. Okay, save and I will render again. See you in a second. So that works so far for me. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the noise may be still a little quick, but I want to do something more on this. So on the original one, yeah, you have, a, of course, a different texture here with this a grid here. Yeah, you could do this with a texture, uh, or we could use, we could do this with uh, the same sweep, and uh, yeah, let's try it. Like make something like an atom array or something else. Let's play a little bit with this. So I hide the textures here with NQ, and what I want, uh, bring it back once. What I want here is maybe so first of all. Camera deck, it's uh, my 
protection deck is not in here but anyways the rigging deck protection here good and uh, what I want here is A and A and N Q. Maybe I make the emission a little a smaller, so thinner. I think that could look better. But then we have to uh, we have to do this then from the start on. So uh, okay, do it next time. <laughs> so I would have to make the bevel height here. It's a little bigger here. And then make the emission extrude a little smaller. But why not? Hide this one. And uh, bring this back here. Let's make this sweep here. So. With the cubic mapping here the same with the cubic mapping same here cubic mapping action on it <laughs> so and now let's think a little bit so again a cut sorry <laughs> It's Sunday and every time people want something uh, again. So uh, I make this first one bigger, so say one centimeter. Make the emission smaller. Make this bigger. Two. I think this could have a nicer impact somehow. Make the connect here. Current state to object, we know it meanwhile. We can hide this. We can delete here a lot, we know. Bye-bye. Uh, this is everything cubic, nice. Then we simply copy over this guy here. And that should work like before, so this is, shouldn't be any problem. I hide my camera. So this should animate, yep. Go into camera tech. Go into that looks a little weird. And thing here. Is it the same like here? Mm. Ah, we don't have the stick material, it's so a pin material. Okay. Can disable this here. Let's see how this looks. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think that looks better with the with the smaller light. It's the thinner light. Looks definitely better for me. So now I want this grid, and for the grid we can make something funny as well. We simply take our sweep here, bring it out, control, so I just copied it out. And I don't need here to subdivide it, I go to my uniform. 
and make here an atom array. Now the atom array is here. Array, atom array. So, 0.5, 0.5. We have here now a grid. But it should be normally the same. I don't make... I'm oh, sorry. Same with this guy here. Let's disable this guy for the moment. Why is this still? The bond. When I disable this spline wrap. I don't see this. Why is this still the bond? This is strange. Here is everything disabled which could deform our spline here. Huh. Let me think what's going on here. Ah, I forgot. I know what's what's wrong. I forgot to uh, I forgot to disable the displacer before I make the current state to object. That was the reason. You know what? We simply Delete all of this and we'll do it new. If it's too boring for you, please fast forward. Now you see that that's okay. And now I connect this. The displacer is disabled, it's fine. And now I make my current state to object. So, fine. Whoops, whoops, okay. So, I can delete the UV mapping as well because we don't use it. <laughs> so this is all cubic, nice. And then we need the spline wrapper. In the spline, oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, the spline wrapper will be the Helix here. Okay, well, let's hide it. Then I want a rail spline as well, as we said. So I make here an instance. Maybe it's not so bad to repeat it. Okay. This will be the rail spline. And I'll bring it up to 20 centimeter here, so not 30, it doesn't matter. So, now when I enable this, the second one should be enabled as well. This is nice. This should work. Yeah, but we see this guy now, so let's hide this. So, perfect. Here we need a subdivision surface on top. Nice, nice, nice. So I like it like it is. So I do not totally understand why we have this thing here. Do we see this in there? Uh, fuck. Good, I'm back in a second. 
So I'm back and I uh, quickly recreated this uh, thing here because uh, that has had a little problem here with opening the same file. But uh, anyway, so we are here now with the new, so with the thinner light and everything is okay. And the next step, what I want, I want this grid here. So let's go to the sweep here and copy the sweep out for the moment. And we don't need any. Yes, sir. And we don't need this here, this subdivided. I want uniform and let's use five maybe. And I put this sweep here in a, let's hide this one here. And this, this, uh, okay. And bring back our width here. So now we can go to the. Yeah, and uh, so this could be all good, okay. And don't forget to save. And now make an atom array. Yes, let's say point two, point two or so. Okay. Let me bring back our. <clears throat> now as we PM, do we have on top of this we have our grid, but here it looks not correct. This is because we have here a rounding, and not on this, but it doesn't matter because I want to do it differently anyway. I want to make this inside a little bigger, so let's make on fifty one or so. Okay. And give this a nice metal material or something else, or whatever you want. But put my again metals. And yeah, it doesn't matter what cobalt would be okay. Something silverish, magnesium, ah, nickel. Okay. Put it on my atom array. Right, my camera, and let's see how this looks. That looks gorgeous. Look at this. And now this atom array, normally it should, uh, it should move exactly with should move exactly with our other one. And it does. That looks nice, man. And now a little depth of field on top of it. Look at this nice thing here. That's a nice window. So uh we need camera here, so we have the field, so we, the focus should be somewhere like here, let's say. And five or so. That's a bit, little too much. Four. Stay fit. Oh man, yes, I think I like this. So, and... Yeah, that looks great. Okay, save it, and I make here a render, a sort of preview render for us. So, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. let's save this. Octane is okay. Output 720. No, I wanted 1080. 1080. Save it. And save it. I save it as a PNG in 16 bit. 16 bit. 16, a PNG in 16 bit here. 16 bit. 
so, so I click OK. He want, wants it to then render the noise beauty bus. Everything is fine. I don't use ACES or something else. So, and my sequences here. New folder. This is the sci fi sweep. Sweep. Okay. No, no, no. Normally I make a new folder with oh, one because I don't know how many I do. And it's called frame underscore. Okay. Save. And now I render and I am back when this is rendered. It shouldn't take all too long. So see you in a second for you. Okay, I have to render this with more samples. It needs definitely more samples to see it in the background here. But I think I have another idea as well. So I make the floor and, and to the floor where the lights and the on the downside here light the floor or something else. Huh? I think this could be a nice idea. Let's try it. So we have this now, and uh, yeah, a floor is a floor is a floor. That shouldn't be a big problem. Like this here, T for scale, and we scale it up like crazy. Give it a nice dark, whatever. So what do we have here? Yeah, normal material. Floor. And more I don't really need so let's see. Normal it should light. Yeah, that looks not bad because of the sun and we have to Okay. So and let's see yeah, where is the floor here? So I think with the floor we have to go down a little bit. So Okay, that's that's nice sir. Do I need the sun is the question now. It definitely looks better with sun. Of course I could use an other diff a different HDRI, yeah. Make this brighter. That looks like the HDRI does not really do something here. It's strange. Why does the HDRI? Hmm, that does nothing. Let's stick this way. delete the container and bring it back again. Now the HDRI seems to yeah, maybe because of this crash we had. And now the HDRI definitely works again. Ah, my labor is back.
my old times favorite HDRI. Because this has nice shadows as well. Not bad, but still not what I want totally. And now I need more samples, definitely. Let's see if one thousand. Of course, it needs longer to render, but I want the depth of field nicer, not so so noisy. Yeah, that should work normally. Okay, I try to render some frames. Save. And I'm back. Okay, I think this is it now. I have what I want for my preview for the tutorial. It's not a lot at the moment, you see, that I don't want to wait as long. But it works that the, the uh, lights are changing color. We see it nicely on the floor. I don't have uh yeah some some little noise maybe i make it but this i think i can uh fix in post work as well but it's not it's really not not a lot because when a youtuber so they, they compress it anyways so and yeah i'm happy with this one and uh, i hope you like this one too it was a little longer because with with uh, some uh, crashes and and some new ideas and we do this and this and then let's do this and I really like the thing with with the grid here and yeah if you have crashed you can download Patreon can download this this project file on my Patreon site of course and uh, I will make a, a physical render version of this as well and this will come in the next few days uh, uh, for download and yeah you will find all the link you need in the description and yeah if you have questions complaints requests please let me know and write in the comments or on my facebook site or on our facebook group or wherever you can find me and i really try to answer every single question so uh, just be a little patient maybe and yeah what can i say more if you want to support me on Patreon, you will find a link in the description and I would really appreciate it. Or if you just say, you know, I, I want to donate uh, for, for coffee or Uso or whatever, <laughs> you can do it via PayPal. A link is in the description. And yeah, if you like this video, yeah, please subscribe, thumbs up or thumbs down, however you want, however you feel it. And yeah, the next tutorial will come soon, as soon as I can, as soon as possible. And yeah, otherwise I could only wish you a nice uh, rest of the Sunday. Yeah, that's it. So, okay, have a wonderful 
rest of the Sunday. Have a nice day. Have a, stay safe. Be careful. Do whatever you want <laughs> and, and so on. Okay, all the best here from Austria, Vienna and tschüss und baba.